Hi there and welcome to this day in history for June 29th. June 29th is the 180th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 181st in leap years with 185 days remaining to the end of the year. June 29th is camera day, a great opportunity to learn about cameras and photography and take pictures with your friends. Cameras, as we know them, have been around since about the early 1800s, although a projection technique known as camera obscura was in use as early as the 1500s and possibly earlier to project images onto a surface in the process of making a painting. It took until someone could figure out how to capture that image, such as a daguerreotype developed by Louis-Jacques Daguerre, and then later on, photographic film cameras introduced by George Eastman in 1888, which made cameras and photography available to more people. Now people could get photos of their children as babies or see what their relatives far away look like now. Before cameras, one could only keep the memories of their lives in their heads, and now they could have a photograph to look at. Of course, the technology and the media have changed dramatically over the last hundred plus years or so, and now many of us carry a fairly quality camera <laughs> in our pockets or purses <laughs> and are able to photograph or record anything that catches our fancy. It all started with the camera, though, and someone, somewhere, has created Camera Day for us to reflect on the camera and all it's done for us. Camera Day. Today's word is cellulose. Cellulose is a noun that names actually a polysaccharide of glucose units from which the cell walls of plants are composed. Cellulose occurs naturally in such fibrous products as cotton and kapok and is the raw material of many manufactured goods such as paper, rayon, and cellophane. The word cellulose comes to us through French from Latin. First known use of the word cellulose is 1848. And if you have a word you'd like me to explore in the word of the day section, pop it into the comments. <laughs> if I can find a definition for it and it's not nasty, I'll talk about it. And with that, the Globe Theatre in London burned to the ground on June 29, 1613. This theater was associated with William Shakespeare and had been built by Shakespeare's playing company, the Lord Chamberlain's Men, in 1599. The Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956 was signed by President Dwight D. Eisenhower on June 29, 1956, officially creating the United States Interstate Highway System. Russian dancer Mikhail Baryshnikov defected from Soviet Union to Canada while on tour with the Kirov Ballet on June 29, 1974. On June 29, 1975, Steve Wozniak tested his first prototype of the Apple computer. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Wozniak. <laughs> Lowell George was an American singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and record producer, probably best known as founder and leader of the rock band Little Feet. He started playing harmonica as a child and appeared on the Ted Mack original Amateur Hour when he was just six years old. Later on, he took up the flute and then, of course, the guitar. He joined Frank Zappa's Mothers of Invention as a rhythm guitarist in 1968, and I imagine he learned a good bit from that experience. He left Mothers of Invention in 1969 and went on to form his own group, Little Feet. Little Feet produced the albums Little Feet, Sailing Shoes, Dixie Chicken, Feets Don't Fail Me Now, <laughs> and the last record album. Still with the group, he was growing dissatisfied about creative differences within the group. They seem to be growing apart. Little Feet released Time Loves a Hero then in April of 1977 before Lowell George announced that the group had disbanded. Lowell George released a solo album called Thanks, I'll Eat It Here in March of 1979. 
In June of 1979, Lowell George began a tour in support of his solo album, Thanks, I'll Eat It Here. And he comes to our attention today because he died on June 29, 1979, while on that tour. He was 34. The album Down on the Farm was released posthumously, and in case you're wondering, yes, the band Little Feet did reassemble in 1987 and have produced something like nine more studio albums, 11 live albums, and several compilation albums since reassembling. But today we're thinking about Lowell George. May he rest in peace. And in honor of the late Lowell George, my first thought was Time Loves a Hero, which is a great song. If you know it, you know. (laughs) But if you're not familiar with it, I've placed a link in the description so that you can go listen to it. But Lowell George didn't write that one, nor was he lead singer. So instead, I'll mention Dixie Chicken from Little Feet's third studio album, released in 1973. The album Dixie Chicken is considered Little Feet's landmark album and is included in Colin Larkin's all-time Top 1000 Albums, third edition, published in the year 2000. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called No Really. (laughs) And you can... Also find me on Rumble and BitChute. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. June. Seriously? Do not disturb. With 202 days remaining to the end of the world. Uh, end of the year. <laughs> Please, not the end of the world. 202 days remaining to the end of the year. Let's read that one again. (laughs) Yep, it is. That's what it's called. All right. Third time better be a charm. (laughs) There's no the there. (laughs) One more, one more time. (laughs) Attracting. Just read the whole thing over. Are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. Alrighty. Back to work. I think we got it this time. <laughs> <laughs>